This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So you know, I know you guys are probably watching the second T20 between West Indies and um, Pakistan. But I saw an article here and I said that I have to make a video about this one. Right? I am taking it from the Guyana Times. And the headline is saying, Moti, an excellent bowler, but not surprise package, says Coach Simmons. So I'm just going to read through the article and share a couple of things that the coach had to say. So the article starts off and it says, West Indies head coach Phil Simmons has said that Guyanese left arm spinner Gudikish Moti is an excellent spinner, but he is not a surprise package since he played with and against some Pakistan players in the Caribbean Premier League. And... Simmons is quoted as saying, and I quote, I do not know if there is a case where people have not seen players in the world. The cricket world is too small. Quite a few Pakistan players played against him in CPL and CPL was shown on a lot of channels around. So they would have footage of him. So I don't think there would be a surprise package, but I think he's an excellent bowler but not a surprise package for Pakistan. I am sure they would have done research. End quote. You see, my viewers and subscribers, this is the thing that, I, that, that, that troubles me about our people, you know. That has nothing to do with anything, especially in the, in the first game. The man should have played. I don't know, based on, the, that based on how he's speaking here, it would sound as if somebody asked him whether or not, you know, Goody Kishmoti would be a surprise for the Pakistan bowlers. It doesn't matter whether they would have seen him or not, or whether it's a surprise package or not. The man should have played in the first T20 game. As I said, while I am, while I am making this video, the, first, um, the second game is going, well, the second game is, is going to be starting shortly. I, have, I'm, I am yet to see the, the starting 11, but if Goody Kishmoti isn't in that starting 11, then, you know, I don't know. All right. Um, they said that, say that Simon said this in a recent media briefing. No, Moti, who plays locally for Albion, has been the leading wicket taker in the last regional Super 50 tournament, claiming 17 wickets in seven matches at an economy rate of 4.56. He had a best bowling figure of 4 for 45, with a stellar average of 16.64 in the CPL. Right, playing his, playing his trade for the Ghana Amazon Warriors, Moti played six matches and impressed with eight wickets at a brilliant economy rate of 6.52. And I am not only join, join, join on this because he would have played well in the CPL. Yesterday's game, they had no business in that first T20. They had no business playing so many um, similar bowler. Odin Smith, Romario Shepard, um, O'Shane Thomas, and, and who else? They, they played about four of them. You understand? That, 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 that just can't, can't work, man. It cannot work. And it's not like our out-and-out pace bowler was, was doing anything. You know, he was bowling wayward and all of that. Shell, um, O'Shane Thomas, that is. So, I, I don't know. They should have gone with a spinner. Now, le let me continue. Um, the article continues and says, Moti has also gained valuable experience as a reserve player at the T20 World Cup. Now, the West Indies full squad um, to face Pakistan. You guys will, will remember. I, I don't probably, I don't have to go through through that. The, the, squad would have, the squad was actually hit with the big C. So, you know, they had to take out players and they had to put in players. and uh, uh, Well, they had to take out players and then they brought in Devon Thomas and thing. But as I said, guys, while you are listening to this video, or probably while you hear this, while, while, while I get a chance to listen to this video, the game might be going on. You know, I am recording this maybe about 15, 20 to 15 minutes before the game start. So, and as I said, I haven't seen the, the, the starting 11. 
But um, based on what I would have seen, Pakistan, they won the toss and they are going to be batting first. So we can't have the same, the same thing that we had in the first T20. So it is obvious the key is to victory. If we want to win, we're going to definitely have to restrict them for a smaller total. We cannot let them get away. You understand? Akil Hussein will definitely have to do what he did in the first match. You know, hopefully he'll be able to take a couple more wickets cheaply, just the same. We have to be banging on him because he would have shown that he's capable. So Akil Hussein is there. You understand? The, the, the bowlers, the, the pace bowlers, if they go with three pace bowlers, they have to step it up. Yesterday we had pace bowlers going for 50 odd. Two, I think two of them, I think, went for 43. No, man, we can't have that, man. We can't have our pace bowlers going for 53, 43, 43, and 50 yard. That, that we definitely cannot work with that. So I am thinking that um, the pace bowlers will definitely need to step it up. And they are going to be playing, playing again. I am sure that oh, um, Romario Shepard, who is a seam bowler, and Odin Smith will play because these guys are, guys are expected to do something with the bat. And once they play, they are going to bowl. You know, I was saying on the live last night that I would maybe drop Oshin Thomas and work with Odin Smith as a pace bowler and bring in Goodikish Moti. You understand? I, I don't know if that would make any sense, but Oshin Thomas being, being in the team... Bowling one or two good overs without taking any wicket and giving away maybe seven, eight runs in your first two overs, that don't really cut it because the next two overs that he come back with, those two overs combined will maybe, he will maybe concede close to 30 odd runs. I understand? 30 odd to 40 runs. That, that we cannot work with that. So what we, what I want to see from these players and I know that it's a it's a young group in terms of not only age, but really representing us. You understand? Dominic Drakes was the next one. He 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 is the one that I was forgetting. So he these guys are young in the team. You understand? And the Pakistan Pakistan team is a well-oiled machine. They went to the World Cup and they dominated with that team. The Mohammed Rizwam, the Babarazam, these guys guys they took apart. Um, they took apart in India. They took apart New Zealand and, and a couple more teams easily. You understand? So I am I am hope I am hoping that you know we will show we will show up a little better. You know, and the batting, the batting, the batting definitely needs to step up. Um she hope he looked good in the first game. So, you know, we are we are expecting him to go out there and to continue this. You know, because we're still in search of an opener, you know. We're still in search of an opener. And even though She Hope would have failed a couple of times, playing um, franchise cricket and also playing for West Indies at the top, then we, you know, we 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 still we still searching. So if he plays well in this series, then you can imagine going into the next tour early in January. They are going to be looking at him because Evan Lewis is is our number one opener in the in the T Twenty cricket right now. So if she hope is able, and I mean Evan Lewis opens in ODI also. So if these two guys are are able to open in ODI and T Twenty cricket, then we are talking about you know them getting getting um used to well I wouldn't even say getting used to to playing with each other because they're opening it in ODI. But it would be it would be it would be nice to have some some amount of stability. You understand and some familiarity um um in the in the in the. In the ODI and the T20. So if those two guys are able to open, they would be good. So we are going to be keeping an eye on Mr. She Hope in this T20 series. You know, um, Nicholas Puran need definitely need to stand up and make some runs. And we're not talking about the 20, the 20, the, 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 the 20, the 30. You know, just as how the Mohammed Rizwan and, the, and these guys are making runs. You know, he's expected to make good runs for us. You understand, but long, but at least 10, 15, 10, 12, 13 overs. If we lose wicket early and he comes in at number three, then he should be looking to bat all the way up to over number 15. You understand, and if he bats like that on the next end we are losing wicket, then we know the power hitters would be there to be batting with him. So, um, yeah, my viewers and subscribers, we are, we are definitely looking forward to these guys um, showing, putting on a better show in the in this second T20 that is currently going on. So we're going to leave this one right here for now. 
and I am going to look at the game. Hopefully, after the game, I can do a little video to talk about it. So, yeah, man, big up on yourself, my Sports to the Bone family, and we will check in later.